Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because it is actually a birthday gym shore haul, as you can see in the title. Um, so my birthday was back in February, but because of technical difficulties, I wasn't able to film the video. I just wanted to share it with you still because I love the figurines I received and I thought you guys might enjoy. So without further ado, let's get started. So one of my best childhood friends, Bashayar, actually got me two Gymshore figurines, which is so sweet because apart from my brother, no one really gifts them to me. Uh, so I wanted to share them with you. They were adorable. So the first figurine was this Alice figurine. It is so cute. I don't have any Alice in Wonderland anything really. So I was so excited to see it. I think she is so beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful. I love her so much. Also, quick note about the lighting. I'm kind of in the middle of moving, so I understand the lighting's not the greatest, but that will be fixed soon, hopefully. Um, the second figurine she gave me was this beautiful Little Mermaid figurine with flounder. I absolutely love it so much. Let me see if I could get it to focus for you guys. Yeah, there we go. Seriously, such thoughtful gifts. I was like so shocked when she sent it over. So thank you so much, Bashayar. That was like the sweetest, sweetest gift. Okay, so moving on now, we're gonna go through the Gymshore figurines that my brother gifted me. So as you guys know, for all the special occasions, my brother decides to do mystery boxes for me. And I may or may not have opened it all, obviously, because my birthday was ages ago, but I still wanted to share. So the first thing is this. Can you guys guess what it's for? The first thing is this guy. I told him a while ago that I really wanted to collect the Disney cats and he actually got me the entire set. Lucifer is like one of my favorite Disney characters of all time and he's so menacing and adorable. <laughs> so cute. I'm not sure where all of these go. But I'm just gonna try. All right, for the next little guy, who is it? It's me! Oh, it's me. <laughs> He's so cute! These cats are a lot more substantial than I thought they would be. They're actually quite large. So, super, super adorable. I love him so much. I hope you guys are able to see where I'm placing them. The next cat is Marie. She's so cute. I've actually never watched the Aristocats before, so that's one that's on my list as well to watch, but she's so cute. I just find the detailing so beautiful. Super cute. Okay, for the next guy, it is the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. I love how he's posed, he is adorable. So cute. Super duper cute, I love him. I feel like Alice in Wonderland is going through like a really big comeback right now. Aren't they so cute together? I don't know if you can see them all, but oh, so cute. So I have a couple of gym shores that are my dream shores and these guys were actually on that list. Look at them, they are adorable. If you guys didn't know, I actually have a Balinese cat which is similar to a Siamese. And I've loved these guys since forever. They're so cute. Aren't they adorable? Super cute. And now I have the entire cat set, which is so exciting because I've wanted this set for so long. So there they are. They're so cute. So I mentioned I wanted to collect some more white woodlands. I actually want to complete the collection and I'm actually, I'm not super close, but I'm pretty close to being done. Um, because now I have a couple more. The first one I got was Cinderella. I love her so much. I just think the attention to detail is so gorgeous. Even in the actual base, there's so much detail with the slippers and just her face is like stunning. I think she looks stunning there. The next princess I got is Aurora. I love this one so much. This was actually one of the first gym shores I had seen. I think it was in a video and I was like, oh my God, I wanna get that. And it's seriously stunning in person. She's absolutely beautiful. I just feel like it looks just like the movie apart from obviously the color differences, but 
She's so cute and I'm so excited to add her to the collection. The next one is another White Woodland and I think she may be my favorite one. So look at Mulan. I feel like this one has been the most intricate gym shore that I've seen yet. I feel like definitely she's the most intricate out of all of the White Woodlands for sure. She has little brother and Mushu there. And look at the attention to detail in the base and her dress. It is so beautiful. I just can't get over how gorgeous this one looks. And her face seems like it is absolutely perfect. Let's see, there we go. Isn't her face gorgeous? I feel like some of them have been hit or miss, but hers is stunning. So I'm really excited about that too. The last white woodland I got was Pocahontas. I'm so in love with her. I think she's beautiful. I love that she's seated in that pose and that um, Miko and Flit are included. I would have loved if Percy was there too, but I still think it's stunning the way it is. Her face is like gorgeous. So when I unboxed this one, I literally almost cried. It was the one I was hoping for the most. You know, when it came out, I was like, oh, I need to get that on pre-order and I had missed the pre-order. So when I opened the box, I got so excited. It is beautiful Esmeralda. I think her face looks stunning. I hope it's focusing. It doesn't look like it is. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Hopefully. Yeah, I think we're in focus there. Look at how beautiful. Even the base has the ruffles that match her dress. And she just looks absolutely gorgeous. All of the like old classic 90s like Disney cartoons are so nostalgic and they're my favorites. They will always be my favorites. Um, and I feel like Hunchback of Notre Dame isn't loved enough. So I was so excited to see Esmeralda and Dajali. And I hope they do more, like maybe a Carved by Heart with Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh my gosh, I would be all over that. So I'm super excited that she's part of my collection too now. So for the longest time, I have wanted a figurine from the wedding collection. I actually wanted the entire collection, but when I opened the box and I saw this, I was so excited. It is Cinderella from the wedding collection. Let me see if I could get that focused quick yeah so it's cinderella and prince charming from the wedding collection with the beautiful birds holding her veil i'm seriously obsessed with this collection i think it is so beautiful and just romantic and i've noticed only one other gym shore figurine that i have the king triton one that has that holographic pearlescent paint and he has it on his shoulder pads um i'm not sure let me see if that gets focused again. Come on. There we go. If you can see, it's on the shoulder pads. It's seriously so beautiful. And it's definitely a collection that I'm gonna be starting. Um, this and the next one. So my white woodlands obviously are a priority, but now these are like my favorite and they're so hard to find. So um, hopefully it won't take me forever to collect all of these. So if you've stuck with me this long, then please give the video a thumbs up so I know you're still here. Um, the next one is a beautiful, beautiful figurine of Tiana, who is now my new favorite Disney princess. My son and I have started watching The Princess and the Frog. I had watched it a while ago, but I just got back into it and I'm obsessed with her. And I love this figurine so much. I just love the colors. Everything about it is gorgeous. Even the detail in the base with the lotuses are so beautiful. Yeah, but... I think the next thing I want to collect along with the wedding um, collection is the personality poses. I just love that they're seated and their dresses fan out. It's so cute. So I'm super excited about her as well. Okay, we're getting there. It's taken a while, but we're getting there. So the second last figurine is the evil Madam Mim. She's one of the most underrated Disney villains and I am obsessed with her. I didn't think that she was gonna be as big as she is, but I think they needed to have that size because of all of the detail in her dress. It's all of her different animal forms throughout the movie. And I just think she looks like crazy, <laughs> which is exactly what she's supposed to look like. So I love her so much. I just love the colors too. 
I've always wanted lavender hair, but I don't think that's in the cards for me. So I will live vicariously through her. Okay, now last, but certainly not least, the most amazing gym short ever, the number one on my list. I literally almost, I think I cried. I feel like I cried when I opened it, but seriously, this was at the top of my list and I absolutely, I don't even have words, but I'm just gonna show you. So this little guy was on my wish list for the longest time. It's a light up little figurine of Jiminy with a candlestick. And let me see how I can hold this to show you. Look at that beautiful handle. And if that wasn't enough, just the fact that he got the number one thing on my wish list, it is actually signed by Jim Shore. Let me see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, I think we're in focus now. So it's actually signed by Jim Shore and I've never had a piece that was signed by Jim Shore. So it's like super rare and signed, which is crazy. And I'm so appreciative. Seriously, I'm in love with him. I just think he's the most beautiful little guy ever. And I feel like, I mean, just look at him. He's stunning. I know it's not focusing. I don't know why it's not, but let me see. There we go. Seriously, how beautiful is he? It lights up, but I just can't find the right battery size. So um, I will be working on that. But seriously, he is so gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the different figurines. I thought for the end of the video, I wanted to include some figurines that I wish Jim would create. Um, I have five and if he would create them, I would be so super excited. And I figured it'd be a fun way for you guys to let me know what you wish he would create. So in the comments below, you could let me know. So the first thing I wish that Jim would create was actually something that my brother really wanted. Um, it was Zeus on top of the world holding his lightning bolt at the beginning of the cartoon. Um, I'm gonna post it right here for you to see. But like seriously, wouldn't that look so amazing as like a Jim Shore figurine, especially if it was like larger, I think it'd be super, super cute. The next one that I wish he would create would go hand in hand with the new Carved by Heart Aladdin. Uh, figurine that he just came out with it would be the cave of wonders I think that would be so stunning with something that maybe lights up like the eyes or something like that I think that would be beautiful another really good one would be the queen of hearts since Alice in Wonderland is so big right now There's actually a new Jim Shore figurine coming out, which is this one But um, I thought it'd be super cool if he could make one with like the queen of hearts on top of the birds um, I just think it's like a really funny scene and I think it'd be like super cute as a figurine as well Another one that I think would be on my dream shore list Like crazy crazy high up on the dream shore list would be a figurine of Ursula and Vanessa I feel like Jim Shore has made these figurines with like Mickey kind of looking into a mirror I'll link it here and he's done it with like Pluto and Donald But like imagine with Ursula and Vanessa looking into a mirror like looking at each other wouldn't that be amazing? I feel like that would be so stunning. So that's definitely on there. The last one that I wanna share is Hades and the Titans. So maybe like, I don't know what Carved by Heart would need to include everybody, but maybe just like the Titans with like Hades in front of them. I think that would look so, so cool. Um, I know Dee would love that because she likes Hades like me. So if you enjoyed this, let me know. I can include it at the end of some of my videos. And I would love to know what would be on your dream shore list. So if you could share down below, I'd be really, really excited to read through and comment back. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.